I think one of the biggest things for people to know about mental illness is if it happens in your family, which the new statistic is one in four persons, which seems so high, don't go it alone. Get out there and find people to help you and talk about it and don't worry about the stigma. That's just a tough, tough place to be when you're by yourself. People need to be integrated into the community and valued. Miracle Clubhouse is open to anybody with a mental illness. We receive referrals from a lot of the community mental health agencies, hospitals, independent therapists, and then of course word of mouth. With Miracle Clubhouse and Goodwill Easter Seals, there are clubhouses all over the world. The idea is that people are people everywhere, and we recover the same way by relationships. We focus on helping members get back to work when they want to go back to work, when they're ready. They can build skills, build confidence at the clubhouse. Clubhouses are run by members and staff together. So it's a joint effort, there's no hierarchy. And we have what we call a work order day. So we run the club together. Members and staff work side by side. Members get to choose what part of the clubhouse they want to belong. So it's, it's empowering. We truly believe that every member is needed and wanted and expected. My life before America Clubhouse was up and down. I had virtually nothing. And I thought, well, I'm gonna go in there and see if they can help me in some way. And very fortunately, I went to the desk and the person that was at the desk, he said, what do you need? And I said, I need help. He said, you came to the right place. And it feels like home. It really feels like home. The staff is wonderful very supportive of us. They just make me feel secure. I feel sometimes when I'm away from home from Chicago, but since I've been in Dayton, that I feel like this is my home too. Before Miracle Clubhouse, life was dark. No sense of purpose, no direction, nothing. No sense of belonging. From day one, I was hooked. I've been a member since, and it's been a great experience. It's a place to go to be with like-minded people people who care, they got me where I am now. You know, with my mental health, I'll say, uh, the world is my oyster, right? But my mental health issue is say you're allergic to seafood because I really don't feel like I belong to many places. They let you know you, you helpful, you, you're important to the organization, you know? You're never finished, you can just keep growing and doing and moving, make a mistake, start over, and you're still a part of the clubhouse. And that's the best part, because I do mess up, and sometimes I will fall short. To have somebody who says, I don't care if you ain't perfect, I don't care if you do everything right, you can still come here. We still got you, you know? That's what it means to me, for real. From what I've seen at the clubhouse, is for a lot of our members, I think it's one of the first times they feel really safe. I just urge people to come and visit and see people in recovery. They are showing up. Every one of those members, when I see them, is my hero because they had the courage to show up and say, I want, I, want to, I want to come in, I want to join the community. I want to be part of something. It's people from all over the world just getting together and gathering up and saying, what's the best way we can help people recover and get back into the society. The Miracle Clubhouse is virtually free for our members. They pay just a dollar a day in membership dues, so we do count on donations and support from our community.